Hello everybody and what are we going to do today? Now we have the, well you see the NZXT uh, wallpaper behind so NZXT did some really cool things in the couple of weeks and months and they have a new K series, the H series so you have from H200i to H400i and H700i but what are the difference between the let's say for instance h440 or s340 they have a tempered glass on front as the s340 light you have the back side of the case has a nice uh, canals for the custom slip cables or any kind of cables from the power supply or fans or anything you can nicely manage them and similar stuff but there are also more uh, new stuff on the cases so let's dive in and check out the case that I got here from the NZXT Balkan and well discuss it a little bit unbox it and review it of course stay tuned Yes and yes, today we're going to talk about the H400i, the micro, micro ATX case from NZXT. And well, I have to say this is my first micro ATX uh, case and I'm really excited. I hope I can uh, build something in this thing, uh, get new stuff uh, for this, hopefully some custom build, but we'll see about that. First, let's unbox the case, review it and talk about some new stuff here. The outer looks of the case reminds us of the S340 Lite, but even so its design is nice and attractive as before. Before we go deeper into the case and talk more about it, how about we feel the peel? The white matte color makes this case stand out definitely, but apart from the color, the first thing you will recognize is the simplistic but elegant design. The front panel features a nice and subtle logo of NZXT of course. The front panel actually hides something very interesting, but so soon we'll get to that. The back side of the case continues with perfect elegant design as well as with those ventilation holes for the front intake fans. The only thing different here is the back side panel which is removed differently than usual. You can't have a nice case without tempered glass nowadays and the H400i has a nicely light grey tinted tempered glass that shows you the whole interior very nicely. Don't have to mention if you put some LEDs inside how it will actually look. The interior is very promising from the first view with actually loads of space. Now on front you have the uh, 2.5 inch bracket for your SSD to show off and a complete new design for the cable shroud that has actually become an NZXT signature cable shroud I would say. Let's see what we have in the box. I'm guessing user manual, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, NZXT added LED to a standard setup with uh, the case which is a big plus in my opinion also we have loads of screws zip tiles of course user manuals and something that is already pre-installed in the case the nzxt led strip connector uh, i can only say big yes Now as I said the different approach of removing the backside panel, unscrew the two back screws and just tilt it so you can pull the side panel out without any problem. But now it gets very interesting, I have to admit that I have never been so excited about the backside of the case practically ever. 
let's start from the cables nicely packed and protected so so many cables but actually why fans have loads of extenders to connect additional to them so you don't have to connect each one to the fan controller separately now we have cables for the front IEO panel, the USB 3.0, power button, microphone and headphone jack and the front HDD LED connector. Also there's a SATA power connector to power the fan and LED controller at the top back side of the case. Yes, this small case has that as well. It's not called smart case for nothing, is it? And you connect it to your motherboard and voila, NZXT cam does the rest. This is actually why I was really excited about reviewing this case. The canals for your cable management, they are everywhere and now you don't have an excuse for doing bad cable management. This is actually why I was really excited about reviewing this case the canals for your cable management they are practically everywhere and now you don't have an excuse for not doing it perfectly the left side of the can canals is for 24 pin uh, front uh, IEO panel and for the smart controller then you have the top horizontal canal which would be most likely used for the fans and also you have the full right canal which is definitely going to be used for the 8-pin CPU motherboard power cable. Smart and practical. With this case you can't go wrong and build something that won't look good. I mentioned it already but nevertheless the top IEO panel has the power button, two USB 3.0 ports, headphone and microphone jacks and finally the HDD LED light. Behind that you have a huge filter protecting your PC from dust. It is, a, it is magnetic and by that I mean it is very easy to remove and clean. Also you can see here that you have a nicely designed holes removed a bit from the middle of the case so maybe you could squeeze in a radiator plus fans inside on the top but we will test that some other time. Another thing to add is that I like how the holes are drilled on the top making a nice transfer from the holes of the fans to the complete parts of the case back to the front IEO panel. Now the front panel. We have four crocodile clips on each side of the front panel which is just a bit harder to remove but nothing spectacularly hard. Removing the front dust panel with a click gives you an idea about the free space you have on front. Basically you can manage a nice push-pull combination. I'm not 100% sure but I only think that 140mm fans push-pull combination could be a possibility as well but We'll test that as well some other time. On top you also have holes to place either two 120mm uh, or two 140mm fans. Sick combination for such a small case that supports micro ATX boards. Also you can see that uh, this case features two 120mm fans, fans on front and, and one 120mm at the rear. Nice setup just for getting the case without other parts. And with a few clicks it's all done. And there you have it guys, a very impressive small micro ATX uh, case. What else could I say? Now, I know you noticed uh, when I was doing the close-up, it has two 120 millimeter fans up on front you have one at the back and the best thing in front you could manage a push-pull combination meaning you could put fans radiator fans and even with 120 and 140 millimeter fans which is really cool for, for this kind of case and this size uh, also you have the uh, SSD bracket up on front you have a nice uh, cable shroud here that you could place uh, the cables for the SSD you have on the back two more brackets for 2.5 uh, inch SSDs. Now you have here on top the magnetic uh, dust filter that is easily removed as you can see and nicely sticks on top and you can easily clean it, dust it or whatever you wish to do. 
On the front you also have a dust filter which is easily removable just by the click and that is all there is to it. Why do I actually really love the H series from NZXT? From the back they have a nice uh, cable canals that uh, make a great cable management uh, you have the side here canal that uh, takes your cable uh, the 8 pin from your motherboard D for the CPU you have a vertical uh, sorry horizontal uh, canal here as well on top that uh, I don't know fans maybe or something like that you could easily manage them and put them right there you have here for 24 pin you have here a hole for your graphic card and you have right here beneath the motherboard for your audio uh, USB 2.0 uh, the power uh, power switch and uh, LEDs and that kind of stuff now this case comes in uh, four different colors you have the matte uh, white uh, and black combination like uh, I have it here you have the full black combination you have the black with red and black with blue which you can't go wrong with any of them because they are really nicely designed and I really like the shape, the everything. Uh, they didn't change the outerior of the case that much except for this uh, intake for the fans and the top uh, with the magnetic dust filter and well, but what is the main difference? The interior. The interior is different. You have this nice uh, cable shroud that uh, hides the cables and you can nicely manage it. You have more fans inside the case. You have the back part for a great cable management. And I mean, just a small micro ATX case has loads of possibilities and, well, looks magnificent. Now guys, thank you for watching, uh, my only request is to check out NZXT Balkans on Facebook and Instagram, I'll put the links below, I'll put some specs for the case, if I didn't mention something you can check it below and the direct link to the NZXT website for this case and the whole H series. Uh, more to that i'll add uh, the links where to buy where to get this case and the h700 and the h200i as well so guys thank you for watching again uh, see you next time don't forget to click the like button and bye bye